What you got there, Brian? It looks like we have another episode of Acura Honda Classic on our hands. And what do we have here today? Well, we have a pretty beat up lip and where does this slip off of? It's off 99 2000 Honda Civic SI EM1. Yeah, well, we got this lip a couple weeks ago. Uh, we looked at it and I'm like, I don't know if we can fix it. I said, why don't we keep looking for a new one? Found out it's very rare to even find them in this good of condition. And uh, what we did is we attempted a rear repair. There was a big, large crack. As you can see here, we fixed it with some epoxy. So now we're nowhere good to go. But as you look at the lip, you'll see gashes, road debris, some minor cracking, and it's gonna take some work to get it back to its factory color. And what color we painted this thing at? I believe it is flamenco black pearl. I have to double check that, but that is a, a color that was around with uh, Nighthawk Black Pearl. I believe Nighthawk Black Pearl took over Flamingo Black Pearl. And then we're seeing now after that Crystal Black Pearl. So uh, Honda's colors, we've had about three or four blacks since the uh, 2000s. So I'm real excited to fix this one. Yeah, I think the viewer is gonna appreciate and understand and know how to fi fix the lift because oftentimes we all have lower car. Yeah. Guess what? We scuff them, we crack them. And we need to fix them. And you know what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show them and we'll put some subtitles on the bottom so they know what they're doing, what what, what they need to do. And you know, maybe they can attempt it at home uh, from the other videos. Remember that one we did with the headlight? Yes. If you yes. haven't seen it, check it out. For $40, you yeah. completely restore your headlights. Not the gimmicks, no, nope. of just buffing the headlights. Yeah. Complete restoration. And we'll go ahead and put the link right up here yeah. so you guys can check it out. Yeah, that same clear that you use for the headlights, you'd be able to use just for the lip right here. So, you know, let's get started on it and let's see how it turns out when it's all done. Well, this old lip here, which is my original lip, it took the abuse of a piece of tire in the road. And it completely disintegrated yeah, the, other half? the no. lip. No, it's somewhere on the highway. So it took me quite some time. Now that these lips are discontinued, you can no longer find them at the dealership. So people that have them want an arm and a leg form or they're badly abused. So I, uh, I noticed that it's a little bit off, so I'm gonna show them some, tick, uh, some quick tips to kind of even out the plastic. Yeah. Then we want to test fit it. I don't want to put all this time and energy into it, get it back on the car when it's done and it's wobbly and it's wavy. All right, so if you have a lip that's kind of a little bit messed up underneath, uh, like we did have here, well, what you could do is you can use a heat gun. This is just a Harbor Freight $7 gun. You heat it up completely and then you can use just a hammer. Now you're not gonna hit it, but you want a really flat one and then you would just hold it, heat it up for a few minutes, and then all you're gonna do is just kinda massage it back into place. Now what that's gonna do is kinda get it where it needs to be. Plastic's gonna go right back to the same place, but you don't want it to kinda reshape into the warp shape. So get yourself a rag, some water, some cold water, and as soon as you're done heating it up and shaping it, you hold it on there for just a few moments, and that's gonna freeze the plastic in its spot. So right now we have the lip in its original form. As you can see, it's got that little bit of an inward curve towards the, towards the middle and it's good to go. Now we already did our repair here, but we still have a crack over in this area right here, which we'll show you. But what we need to do is we need to test fit it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So what we're looking to see is the uh, plastic tabs mounting up with the bumper. We got one, we got two, three, and then you have the metal tabs that are currently off. And it looks like uh, she's gonna mount up pretty good based off what we have here. Yeah, so it's on. 
we have a, a, a seamless gap line here. I think it's gonna look good, man. All right, so it's strictly cosmetic from here. Yeah. We know if it fits, it's structural. We'll go ahead, I'll show them some tips and tricks to uh, sand down all this uh, rash. Awesome. Get it smooth, and man, we'll get this back to you in just a few days. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grind that down uh, with 180, and then I'm gonna make a little bit of a kind of a tunnel for where the epoxy's gonna go, and then we'll sand that all out with 180, and then smooth out the rest of the this lip, it's gonna look really nice. So we're gonna spray the primer. We got everything sanded down nice and even. The primer's gonna fill in any tiny voids and it'll give us a nice surface of sand for paint. next few steps is we're gonna go ahead we're gonna clean it and then we're gonna put a sealer on there that sealer is gonna be the same color as the base so we'll use less of our base coat it's also gonna give us a nice cushion in between the actual part and the base itself that way when we have uh, road debris or chips it's not gonna be uh, chipping as easy so we'll go ahead and we'll put the base down and then we'll go ahead and we'll clear it and we'll take a look and then get it back onto the car so let's get started it huh Brian this is it man and we couldn't be happier of how it came out I went ahead and I put that rubber strip on right here and you can see I did a really nice job of just getting it on there nice Beautiful. and neat yeah what do you think Beautiful. about that Miguel I think it's 
professional quality <laughs> work, buddy. Now, the, in the back here, we have these uh, tabs that were all missing, and we actually took them from the original lip. So if you go, let, let's show them your original lip, Miguel. What's left of it? Well, how did it, how did it even get to this point? Well, this is what's left when you hit a tire in the road. You said that in the it, beginning of the video. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, I was on the highway coming to work, man, and a piece of tire was there, and there was nothing I could do. Yep. And well, it caught the front end and took the lip with it, and that was it. Man, I was, I was really upset because you can't find these, like you know. So when we we got this one, it was a little bit battered up, and we knew yeah. we could save it. We we took these tabs off here. If you look right here. We actually cut them off of a razor blade so we can keep them as clean as possible. Yeah. And then we mounted the lip to the actual car. And then we epoxied the tabs right in place with a two-part epoxy. I mean, these are hard as a rock. They're not going anywhere. Then I went ahead and I spray painted these silver, sanded them down nice. And then I got the screws I put in right here. See how clean that is? So nice. And the whole thing is solid as a rock, and I think we're ready to put it on. That was not a good repair. Yeah, it totally came out good. And a special shout out to Andy. Man, he sold us a lip. It did need some work, but he was confident to know we could do the job. Yeah, absolutely. I'm really happy how it came out, man. It, it really makes the car what it's supposed to look like. Just watch out for future tires in the road, right? Absolutely. <laughs> well, as always, thank you so much for watching our channel. Yeah, thank you so much for helping us rebuild our community. And we'll see you guys on the next one. See you guys yeah. later.